What are we walking underneath? A basketball court. In the restaurant. This, this is a basketball court, and someone had the ingenious idea to put it on the ceiling. This is so cool. It just adds to the character. Right here, you have uh, Charles Woodson. This is Charles Woodson's Not easy to see seat. because he carved it very lightly. Wow. Harbaugh. He carved his M right over here. There we go. That's it yeah. right there. It's a very good M. That's a solid it's M. It's a lot of practice. You can also carve your name in the table. So you can leave your mark on our school. When you're sitting at the table, carve your own. And that's just one of the many traditions that the Pretzel Bell has revived from its original days. There was two former Michigan football players, Fritz Seifrith and Bruce Elliott, that had the idea to bring the pretzel bowl back. They wanted that restaurant that felt like home again in Ann Arbor. What made you want to get involved here? I've known about the pretzel bell my entire life. My dad has great memories of going to the pretzel bell. You look around and you do see things from the 20s, from the 30s, and then from the 90s, which I appreciate a little bit more. The year I committed to Michigan was the year the Fat Five played in their first national championship game. Playing with those kind of athletes just make you raise your level of intensity quite a bit. There's such a passion and, and a commitment to excellence around this place, I couldn't leave. I've been here since 1992 and I haven't left. And the students hankering for some good food and great times have nothing to worry about here. Whether they're ringing the bell because it's their birthday, or relaxing with friends in the basement, they're comforted in knowing the pretzel bells got them covered with some easy living cuisine. Chef, if I want comfort food, what do I need to eat? Mac and cheese and a little pretzel crust. Nothing more homey than mac and cheese. We got a house-made bechamel sauce. Yummy. We'll start with that. A little bit of cooked pasta. We add a little bit of our white cheddar. A little bit of smoked gouda. All right, so once we can get that nice and hot, then we add that into the bowl. And a little bit of our pretzel crust. So these are the mustard pretzels? Mustard and onion pretzels. Back in the oven with this guy. Okie dokie. About two minutes just to melt the cheese. That's it. Out the window, into the belly. Pretzel crusted mac and cheese is something I've never had before. Got to get some of the pretzels. Mmm. You have that warm mac and cheese and then a bite of the pretzel, mustard and onion flavored pretzels. This is good. Dessert time. The pretzel with the cinnamon sugar baked onto it in the oven with the vanilla ice cream that I need to get some of, the caramel and the sprinkles of salt just comes together so beautifully. Mmm. Pretzel at the pretzel bell. Perfect.